Good evening, good evening, and welcome to Rugby Games Bad Monday. <coughs> I'm Alex Simmons, we're in a brand new home today. Jonesy, how are you, mate? We've got Jonesy and Keefe today, we've got five of us inside, but plenty of room. We're no longer in the garage. Awesome, mate, I'm full of enthusiasm. I'm in charge of enthusiasm today. And, uh, <laughs> just looking around, I think it's a good job as well, because you've been real busy, haven't you, last oh, couple mate. of nights? I've had, I've had the longest week, and I've got my friend uh, Adrian Murray staying over from Australia, so I'll be, I've, really, I've let him stay in my bed. And I'm on the sofa, and I, he can't sleep on the sofa. I've had the worst week's sleep ever. And I, and I sleep. You know, normally I bounce out of bed in the morning. I just like roll off the sofa. It's horrible. So I've had a, I've had a, I've had a shocking week, mate, for sleep. And uh, just generally, just, you know, when you've got somebody there, and he's great to have him around, and he's been a great help, a bit of a life coach. Uh, it's, it, I'll tell you what, it's the first time in my life it's been like having a dad. I think I know what it feels like now to have a dad. He's an everyday, similar, do, do this, similar. Do this, do I do that? And I think that's what dad must be like. I saw you in Australia with him, Simo. So if he's an example of a dad, then he's, uh, he's not reading you in the right direction. <laughs> no, he's, he's, mate, honestly, he, he, he's on the ball. He, he, and he's over here watching the Liverpool football opening team win league. So he's having a good time and I'm looking after him. So it's all good. And But we're here, we're inside and uh, we're here to talk rugby league after a bit of a week's break. It was weird not doing it last week. Was very weird. Just quickly, if I, if he's your dad, I must be Mr. Gepetto. Then I'm quite hurt by that. I thought I was the man telling you what to do, what to do, what not to do. Just <laughs> just jumping on there. <laughs> not, not that I'm having any success with it. Just jumping in here, right? It's funny. Don't when you go into any changing rooms, a rugby player, like when you're home and away. We we'll ask lads if they do the same. I'm sure they do. But you always go, even if you're playing at Warrington. You have like your seat in your away changing rooms, and you always stick to it. And like, I'm just really excited about my seat where I am now. Because I'm inside Keith, I don't know if I've managed to sneak inside Keith. <laughs> All right, to open the door. And I'm on my left side. My left side's the best, better looking side. <laughs> back on, like, back back on really Jonesy. Well. So, but I'm laughing here. I'm really, I'm up, I hope it stays like this as well. But excited about the two guests. Just found out uh, one of them has got the exact same injury as me. Uh, and looks to be miles in front of me as well with his recovery. Because he didn't have his in the sling and uh, obt- uh, attain rigor mortis like I did. Uh, it looks all right to me, as well. I think it's like being on. Every time I've seen him, she has been injured. Just being sat chilling while everyone else is running around. So, oh yeah, you know, I'm back in a few weeks. Yeah, yeah. Talking about me, or would he? I would say he's a bit more of an athlete than you, though, isn't he, Jones? What's that? He's a bit more of an athlete than you, though, isn't he? So he's going to be a little bit headier. Yeah, I suppose. A lot, lot stronger, anyway. Dear me. Let's Big lads in morning, lads. I've got to start the show by saying congratulations to Corn Beef. Four marathons in four weeks and a bike ride. You are the new Bionic Man. How are you? I'm, I'm quite good now, actually. It's been a good four days. I've been with some Irish lads. Uh, Phil Holmes. <laughs> Hello. Phil Holmes' <laughs> uh, Phil Holmes's family uh, set off from Ben Burb in uh, Northern Ireland. So there were 10 of us that did the full ride. And it's it's been an experience, top quality lads, you know, that brought us through it. But it's been pretty tough. Uh, I did the other field marathon on Sunday, flew out on the Monday, set off riding back on the Tuesday. So I were in bits already before I even started, but... Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd had a real good time them Irish lads they were on it on Guinness every night and I were tucked up in bed quite early because I was just a broken man <laughs> you, let, you, you let your country down Keith you let the Yorkshire boys down when they're drinking I did do I I met up with them Saturday and I've I've, had, I've actually had two days on the drink Simo you'd have been proud of me I've had Saturday that's, night that's and Sunday you. that is immense for me were you, were you trying to fight anyone were you getting your mad up at all I, d- I didn't know no, I've, just, I've just been chilled, I've just been relaxed, I've been too no, tired. No Stuart Fielded episodes? I was nah. going to say, yeah, it's <laughs> no, no wrestling, no fighting at all. Did you think about Stu? I always think about Stu. <laughs> <laughs> when you get really mad, do you think, oh, I'd love, love Stu to be here now, just punch him in the head. <laughs> I don't get mad anymore, Simo, I'm uh, relaxed. You're loving up fighting now, aren't you? I am, yes. How's Big Bird? Is she she's, all right? she's good, yeah, she's very good. I, I've, I've noticed a few... It's, the tweets are getting deep. Is it, is it proper love now? There is no now? deep tweets. Is it, I've I don't seen, do I've deep seen, tweets. I've seen the tweets getting deep. You have not seen any deep I've tweets. Seen, I've seen the way that you look into her eye because she's the same size as you, looking straight across. Um, she needs to be the same size. We have a right good face. You good fight wrestle. your girlfriend. Is this right? She does kickboxing, so it's great. We have, we, we have actually sparred. So it's, it's immense, is that? Love across the ring. <laughs> you know, normally, you know, you, you go back home and you sometimes can get a little bit rough with your missus. I know Jonesy does, you know. You hurt him a little bit with her, you just give her a jab in the arm and she, she wants to fight back. So. You, don't, you don't get four kids back, so it gave. <laughs> <laughs> what I was going to ask you is when you, uh, you know, when, when rugby lads, when you, whenever you go out and just start a physical session, somebody, or somebody, usually a young lad comes in a little bit harder and all the lad goes in a bit harder than that and it gets daft until you end up full-blown fighting. Is that what you end up? <laughs> he misses, end up knocking her about it then. <laughs> she starts off with the, she starts off though going a little bit too heavy. So I can I'm a little bit tender at the moment, I'm a little bit sore, so she's she's 
she's taking a bit of advantage of it and uh, giving me a few backhands and, and tra really trying to set about me and I'm not happy about it so stop once, picking on Keith Big Bird yeah once I've fully recovered then she'll be getting the furry sign into the back of her head <laughs> <laughs> What's, it's, it's funny you should mention that who was the worst person in training for just turn, cranking it up when there were no need and being that guy. Who was that guy? We used to say Wayne McDonald, didn't we? Train like I was with him last week. <laughs> I know I you are. That, that's what brought it to my mind. You are in Dubai with him, weren't you? Yeah. Train like Tars and play like Jane. That's Mate, what we used to say about The thing him. is that, he's like... He's the biggest I, man in the world. I, I got really drunk one night and... Because um, I, I worked with his missus, you see, Amy. Uh, she's sound as all. And we, we were in the clubs together. And Mac is there and like, lots of my partner, who's, who's no idea about rugby whatsoever, He's like, oh, what's it like? I went, he ain't got an art. He <laughs> can't run it in. I run it harder than him. Like and his little face just melted. I said it out loud in front of everyone. And I realised afterwards, I thought, oh, I felt pretty bad about that. And Amy says, you know what? You weren't Wayne's feelings then. <laughs> sensitive guy. A sensitive guy, you know Very what I mean? Sensitive. But he, he was a monster, wasn't he? And he just didn't have it in him. I remember him, though, saying so where he scored an 80 metre try. Did you? Yeah, just stuck his head back then. Just it was like everybody. He, I think he threw three dummies. He dummied me. He dummied you. Yeah. Uh, ended up going around Paul Wallen scoring eighty meter try. I remember that. It's one good thing I remember about him. Good block. Right, we're gonna start. We've got two amazing guests today. We had a massive weekend in Super League. We're gonna recap all that. But for we we'll start off the show with obviously some great music as always. Um, I, I do you want to bring someone out straight away, Tyre? Just say tune. I'm just following your program, Tyre. We'll play a tune then. <laughs> we'll play a tune then we'll get our guests out this morning this evening so rugby um. 